once again from New York City by Washington Square Park talking to you about never running out of things to say. You need to understand that this video will change your whole life around conversation with women. The words that I will tell you in this video will probably be words that many men out there have never told you because they have this thing that this is the thing you do to never run out of things to say and I believe that that's so much a lie that I'm here to dissect it. So let's get down to the root of it. The root of running out of things to say or being scared of running out of things to say is your fear of something. It's not the actual running out of things to say. Running out of things to say is just a means to an end. That's what it is. So what is the thing underneath? What is the thing underneath that you're actually afraid of? Because you're not afraid of running out of things to say. You're not afraid that you're a bad conversationalist. You're afraid that if something happens when I run out of things, things to say, I will lose the girl. Whether that be, I'm afraid that she'll think I'll lose her. I'm afraid she won't think I'm confident. I'm afraid that the woman will see me uh, as the way I see myself right now and I'm trying to hide it. I'm afraid she'll see the tension inside of me of me not being able to handle silence. I'm afraid that I'll lose her attention if I don't keep talking. All these things are underneath run out of things to say or the need to want to know how do I not run out of things to say? It is a lie. The reason why I said it is because it is natural and normal for you to run out of things to say when you're speaking to a woman. It is absolutely natural and normal. If you believe that it's unnormal, then that's the way you'll react to it. You'll be reacting every single time you run out of things to say as, oh my God, am I, am I weird? Or why, why is it that I'm running out of things to say? Am I, am, am I, am I a horrible person? Am I somebody that's, that's a fucking loser? Am I somebody that's blah, 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 blah. Whatever it may be, it'll start to arise because there's a thing inside of you that says when a man runs out, out of things to say with a woman, and in some way he's bad. And that's gonna control you. It's gonna control you until you understand that running out of things to say is natural and normal. Even the best of us, everybody I know who's great with women, including myself, run out of things to say when they're talking to a woman. They may be speaking to a woman and they may go, you know, what do you like to do or what's going on today or whatever it may be and they're having a conversation and it hits the point where it's just like nothing. And in these moments, the guys I know who are great with women, they all understand that this is a normal moment. This is not a non-normal moment. Many guys will perceive that as, oh shit, things run out of things to say, this guy's bad, he's a bad coach, he's a bad this, he's a bad that. That's not the truth. The truth is, is that when you run out of things to say, that is healthy. Because you need to be able to regather through silence. Because that's when a true transmission of anything between two people happens. It happens in silence. It, does, it, might, ha it might happen when someone's talking, but the strongest transmission of anything that a person can give another person will happen when there's no words. Because a man and a woman can know each other their entire life and do this the whole time and never really know each other. But a man and a woman can know each other their whole life and never speak or never even speak the same language and have the strongest connection. It's normal. So accept that running out of things to say is natural and normal. So what I would say for you is, what is the key to never running out of things to say? Be okay with running out of things to say. Be okay with it. Because the moment that you're okay with it, you're okay with silence. Because that's the thing you're actually afraid of. You're not afraid of running out of things to say, you're afraid of silence. Silence is a thing that freaks people out because in society they say that when things go silent, oh shit, shit's getting awkward. You've been out around things to say, shit will get awkward. And that's a thought out thing that society has put on you is that when you run out of things to say, shit get awkward. That is not the truth. Shit don't get awkward. It only gets awkward from the people who say it's awkward. But silence is not awkward to me at all. When I'm in front of a woman or I'm in front of people and things go silent, that is a chance for something new to arise. That is a chance of a rebirth in the moment of something. Whether it be a new thing to say, 
whether it may be uh, a different way of uh, the thread of conversation, whether it be something new being felt by a person, but something new allows itself to be rebirthed in that moment. So that's what I want you to understand is that you must fall in love with the silence that happens because it's in silence where something new can arise. That's where the unexpected happens. That's where the unpredicted happens in silence. Never run out of things to say. By being okay with running out of things to say. Never forget that. Because the moment that you can be okay with running out of things to say, your whole conversations will shift. Because when you run out of things to say, guess what? You give her the chance to feel the silence. She can finally feel the silence that you've been blabbering away in. She can say, okay, now I can put in my two cents. Now I can inject in this conversation. Now I can be more engaging because you've shut up and given the chance to. So when you run out of things to say, see there's a sign as yes, I'm giving her a chance to finally seduce me. I'm giving her a chance to finally get to know me or finally input something that right now I'm currently not doing. Because I can tell you right now, if you're afraid of running out of things to say, you're also not giving the girl a chance to seduce you. That's what's happening because once you give the girl a chance to seduce you, which means once you give her the chance to go, who are you? What are you like? What are you into? And give her the chance to go, hmm, I wonder what he's like. That's when shit will start to shift because now she's starting to really engage in you for this, because of the silence you've built. You, once you start with silence, once you are able to sit in the silence and love the silence, a space is starting to be built. Space is built through a man's energy, his aura that he's given out. A woman's energy, her aura. And in silence, it intensifies. So that means the space becomes bigger. It becomes more intense, more focused. Have you ever noticed that when you're talking to somebody and you completely go silent, the moment slows down. It becomes more intense. It becomes more focus it's like nobody else exists but you two this is the beauty of running out of things to say is that something else arises a stronger connection is built you guys feel something different and I remember when I was starting to first experiment with silence because my first thing was when I really was thinking about silence and what is it like to hold space with a woman? What is it like to be there with a woman and to really shut up and let her invest? Let her engage. Let her say something. Let her get to know me in her own way. What was it like? I was freaked out. Because I used to be a guy who was like always like this. And as you can notice, I'm a person that's very, very expressive in the way I, that I am. So I was a person that always was expressive in this way and that way. And you know, when she would say something, I would have the right thing to say. And, that will all send red flags in a girl. But I started to notice that I wasn't cultivating the side of myself that needed to be calm, that needed to be still. Not only in the physical manifested way, but also internally. I needed to be more still. And the more still that I was on the inside, and the more calm I was, the more I gave the thing a chance to evolve into something different through me shutting up and completely just giving space for her to do something, that's when shit started to shift. I mean, I, at first I used to be like, oh my God, man, it's, it's quiet and, and it's awkward and, and I'm still not good at conversation. It wasn't that, it's just that I wasn't okay with silence. That's all it was. It's so crazy how many guys say to themselves, silence is this, silence is that. Oh no, if it's in silence, silence is bad. And what it really is, every single time I've noticed, is that you're not okay with silence. So silence is a big factor. It is a big thing for you because you're not okay with it. So that means that every single time it happens, you're in resistance to it. But if you can allow yourself to be okay with it, it changes. Your relationship to silence must change. You must have more commitment in the moment to silence for something different to arise. Of course, being able to have conversation is great. Of course, being with a woman and never, you know, having a flow of conversation and banter is great. But what about the silence? What about shutting up? What about giving her a chance to seduce you? 
giving her a chance to fill the space that you're afraid of her thinking something about you. And that brought me to sitting in silence is actually more enjoyable than talking. The reason why I noticed is because I had a girl this year and she spoke no fucking English, like none. All she could say was yes and good and, and uh, love and, and happy and, and hamburger and, and hot dog and pizza. <laughs> These are all the words she could say, but she spoke no English. And we saw each other many, many, many times. And most of the times that we were together, it was just eyes. It was just body. It was just energy. It was laughing. It was looks. It was saying things that you know, had hard charge. But 90% of everything that was happening between us was in silence. It was when me and her were looking at each other. It's when we were on a first date. And we're dancing. And she's just looking at me and I can see in her eyes that she wants me to take her. Is in that moment where I go, I hold it. Because it's in that holding where I'm able to notice that, okay, this woman in this moment, she wants this. And the fact that she wants this, I'm willing to deliver this. And I was with her for mm, a month and a half to two months. And that was the whole time, man. And it was great. She was one of my main lovers. She was like one of my main uh, women that I was seeing. But no English, completely none. And it was great, man. It really was great. And I would say for anybody who really wants to try on being able to have uh, silence be the thing that is mainly there, when you're with a woman, don't speak a lot. And she's like, why are you not speaking? Just say, shh, be quiet. Let's be in silence more, baby. Well, let's be in silence. And just see what happens when you're there with the girl. You need to start experimenting with the other side of yourself. Cultivate the side of yourself that's afraid of silence by you being more committed to silence than you are to talking. And it's scary when you first go into it. It's scary when you first go into it. But the thing that's good about it is that you start to be okay with silence. You're not afraid of it anymore. When you're in front of a woman and things go silent, allow yourself to just breathe and allow silence to be there. Because your first reaction will be to say something, it'll be to try to uh, make the moment better, it'll be to say, mm-hmm, do these things, just fill the space. But I challenge you, I challenge you to sit in the space and allow something to arise It's different. That's what you're doing, you're allowing something different to arise. In another video I'll, uh, later on in the future, I'll talk about adding variation to your interactions, but this adds variation. Sometimes a guy is just talking like this the whole time, and the fact that he's never being silent, he's not adding anything else to the interaction. So all she feels is pleasancy. And she's bored. You're a friend. But silence, something different arises. The unpredicted arises. And that's what she wants. She wants to feel the unpredicted. She wants to be around the unpredicted. She wants a man who can take her into the unpredicted by him being unpredictable. So sometimes you go back and forth. But sometimes, allow yourself to completely sit in silence. And if I would say you're a guy who's never used to sitting in silence ever, go out and the next 10 girls you talk to, be more committed to silence than you are to talking. Make it in your mind that when I go out today, every girl I talk to, I'll, I'll be more silent than I'll talk. I think I'll talk a little bit and then I'll shut up, even if it feels fucking weird. Because you need to see what is it like to actually feel, sit in the silence and allow something else to arise. Because once something else arises, the interaction goes in a different direction. That's what's exciting, is that it goes in a different direction once something different arises. You must give a chance for something different to arise so it can go in a different direction. She wants that as well. And once you allow it, you breathe it in, you fall in love with silence, you make love to it, you feel into it, you really give yourself away to it. It becomes different. How do I never run out of things to say? Be okay with running out of things to say. What do I do in the moments where I freak out and I want to say something and the girl's doing like this and this? Be committed to silence. That's on the inside. And that's also with the woman. 
I hope you guys got a lot of this because this will change your interactions. It will. This will allow something different to arise. And you can't go in the friend zone with this, but you know why? Because something different is arising. You also align yourself with the chance to sink into what is my intent in this moment. What do I generally want to know about this woman? You allow this part. But when you're always chattering, you're never leaving space, you're not okay with silence, you're not making love to the silence in the way you need to, you'll find it to be very difficult. So this is your boy, Tony Solo from Natural Lifestyles. I love you guys, and subscribe below to Essence of Solo. If you really want to do some coaching with me, I'm actually leaving New York City on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, I'm leaving on Saturday. But I'll be in America until January. Go to the naturallifestyles.com. Go to the uh, contact page and put in an inquiry. And I look forward to working with you in the future sometime. Until next time.